Hey everybody, today Karen and I are here to address another question that I asked in this recent paper that I wrote. And the question for today is, um, what are some key ingredients to making a, uh, a good science video? Um, and I'll throw it first out to Karen. Karen, what, what, say, what do you think is the most, if you had to pick one key ingredient, what would you start with? Well, I know in, I know in your paper that, um, that you mentioned several good ideas, such as avoiding jargon, using interesting visuals, using analogies to explain a, a scientific concept, and, and then to promote your video and social media. And I thought, you know, those, those were all great comments that, and, and we're gonna list those in the description below the video. But what I'd like to, to focus in on and, and emphasize that I think is key, and that is your video needs to tell a story. I mean, what do you think? I agree 100%. Uh, story, so in, in, in my paper, if you've seen the title of it, uh, this is for the viewers. I know, Karen, you've seen it. But one of the words in there is ice cream. <laughs> it's probably the only time I will use ice cream in the title of uh, you know one of my scientific papers for me the ice cream part of that um, of that of that title has to do with story and uh, story is so critical to how we think as humans you know we narrative structure having some kind of um, uh, some tension in there and some resolution uh, some introduction that's all part of um, storytelling and I think that makes for a much better uh, presentation if you're doing it live or, or video. And, and I think people remember stories better than they remember facts and figures. Yeah, they do. Um, uh, I often enjoy when I'm listening to a sign, you know, I'm at a conference somewhere and somebody starts off with, let me tell you a story. You know, right away, you know, my ear perks up and I'm ready to listen because I, I know this is kind of may go somewhere interesting. Yeah, I, I know when I first started making videos, I, I didn't understand the power of story and I didn't understand that I really needed to tell a story in my videos. And uh, but then but then later I realized that I should do that and that it was not that difficult. You know, for example, you could start out by, by saying in your video, uh, we observed a problem, uh, we investigated it. What did we find? Watch the rest of the video to find out. Um, and it's especially easy to tell a story if you do field work. You can talk about the challenges that you had getting to your field site or uh, some things that happened along the way, your boat broke down or the weather was bad or something like that. And then you talk about the project that you were conducting and what you hope to get out of that project. Yeah, and you know, there's, there's a lot, quite a few scientific articles talking about the importance of story and science presentations. Um, in fact, we can, we can include a link to some of those uh, you know, in, in the video description. I've actually got a video where I talk about, um, I list a whole bunch of papers. I, I list your, your book there, Karen, the scientist videographer as a, as a good resource. But in that, in that other video, which I'll put a link, we can put a link in the video description. There are several papers that specifically again and again and again say, try to get story in your science presentations <laughs> and video is no different from that. So, so, you know, what, what are some other, um, some other big key ingredients that you think are important? I've, I've got a few, but I want to hear some of yours first. Well, uh, still, still sticking with the story, but um, what I see works is not to, not to uh, present your information in a linear fashion, the way you would in a presentation, starting with an introduction methods and so forth, start in the middle. Um, for example, you know, you would uh, talk about something that happened to you in the middle of your research and then, and that hooks the, the viewer into watching your video. And then you go back and explain what your project is about, why it's important, and, and then some more about what, what your uh, research is revealing. A key to a good presentation is a hook. 
something that's gonna, mm -hmm. you know, I've 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 said this prior, uh, and I've read it somewhere else. You want people to find your video, you want them to click on it, and then you want them to stick with you through that as you're, you know, describing whatever you're telling about. Um, one of the things I think is really important in science videos is uh, kind of a key ingredient is smiling and showing enthusiasm, <laughs> you know, showing that you are a human and that you, um, you're passionate about what you're doing. I think that's so important. Uh, we don't want to have the, you know, there's a lot of stereotypes out there of the scientist and the white, you know, the white coat and, uh, very stodgy and, uh, you know, there, there's all kinds of stereotypes we need to throw out. I, I, I should interject, though, that as scientists, we're trained to be serious. You know, when you give a presentation to an international audience of world-renowned scientists, you have to act serious and be serious. And, um, and it's, hard to, it's hard to break out of that mold when you're doing a video. But, but, but I think you can be serious and, I mean, you can be... Um, approachable and and um sure and, and still be serious right and that that's yeah that i guess that's what i'm kind of thinking is there's ways to show the seriousness of our research with our presentations or videos without being um monotone i i i try to um sometimes put in some humor in my videos but i also want to be careful not to overdo it you know you know i don't want them to be too corny but maybe just slightly corny or goofy. Yeah. I think another key element of a good video is um, visual diversity. So, you know, that be that uh, your talking head uh, or pictures you're showing or graphs you're showing or um, uh, video clips. Uh, I think it's really, really key, f important for people to realize video is a visual media. And, and mm -hmm. the way to make it really work is to have a lot of diversity in your in your visuals you know when you watch a, a short advertisement you know they hit you with all kinds of visuals and you get it within 15 seconds or less sometimes um, mm -hmm. we're not trained to do that but i still think we can as scientists look at some of those other things that are done by the professionals and hopefully learn from them and and try to bring some of that um, into our videos it's it's a, it's a challenge but it, it's a fun part of it actually yeah, and along with the visuals is the idea of keeping things moving. And so what I try to do is yeah. I try to change the visual or the perspective at least every 10 seconds, if not sooner. Uh, it might be a, yeah. uh, a zoom out or a zoom in, or it might be uh, a different perspective, or it might be a cutaway to show what the person is talking about or something of that, that nature. And even if you cut away to a still image, you can apply in many movie editing applications, you can apply a Ken Burns effect so that the image is actually slowly moving and that makes it fit in very well with uh, footage. Yeah, I, I, I do a lot of that. In fact, I would say I, most of my videos have more still images or pictures than they do video clips. and. Yeah, panning across something or zooming in on one part of it that's the area of, of interest. Um, and then maybe even having a, a circle annotation or come across that. Those are all things to help kind of guide the reader along and keep them visually engaged and wondering what's coming next, right? But here's here's a, a, an exercise or a homework tip or a, something that you might want to give, a, give this a try. So... Um, and this is hopefully gonna make you realize how easy it is or um, relatively simple to start making videos. So what I would do is take a paper that, if you, you, that you've written and got published uh, that's one of your favorites and take the abstract of that, let's just say it's 250 words and um, make a short video, you know, two to three minutes that uses that abstract text as the script for your video. And so all you're gonna do is either do a, you know, you could read it off uh, looking into a camera or you could even just do a voiceover reading it off. But basically your, your job is to, using some kind of a video editor, 
Um, the one I use is Camtasia. What's the one you use, Karen, again? Well, I've used iMovie and ScreenFlow, and, and there, there's, some other, there's some other apps. So it doesn't really matter what, what, what app you're using, but you could use some video editor. And as you um, take that, that abstract and add visuals that will basically complement what your words say. If the word rhinoceros shows up, show a picture of a rhinoceros. Or, but basically try to make your, your, um, your short two to three minute video as visually interesting as possible using graphs, using um, photographs, uh, your own body moving around and talking, smiling, uh, or whatever, um, video clips, whatever you think would make that more visually interesting than if it was just read off without anything. And, and I guess I guess if they haven't published, they could just take a paper, a favorite paper that someone else has written and, and use use that as practice. Sure. Yeah, that sounds good. And, you know, one other thing I was going to throw out there is I made a video tutorial of a, a real simple method to do this, uh, which I will we can put a description in the in the video um, description there. It's what I call the hay roll, P roll method. It's where I just line all those images up on a PowerPoint presentation. And certain parts of the presentation, I'm on screen. In other parts, I'm pointing at things. I'm not on screen, I'm pointing at things with my pointer of my mouse. It's a real simple method um, to make a pretty visually interesting video quickly without a lot of complicated editing. So that might be one that you try out. Well, so uh, I guess to wrap up, we've provided some ideas for uh, key ingredients to make a successful video, but I think we're both in agreement that one of the more important ingredients is telling a story. Yeah, Agreed? definitely true. So important. Um, yeah, that's something that's, it takes training and practice, but it's, it's a fun part of it.